What's going on YouTube? Steve V here with another video. I hope everybody's doing well out there. So in today's video, we're going to be getting a little hypothetical. Now, as you guys can see behind me, I got quite a few arcade one up cabinets. And that's because when I was building a man cave, I knew I wanted to have some arcade games down here. Now in 2014, when I moved into this house, arcade one up didn't exist. So I was looking into real arcade machines. I was looking into a real pinball table. But at that time, I did not have the money to actually pursue those products. Well, in 2018, a company called Arcade One Up showed up on the scene and really changed everything for me. And through this company, I've been able to fill my basement with these arcade machines that are basically three quarter scale recreations of the cabinets that I seen growing up. And they're full of games that I played during that time that I've made so many great memories playing. And now I'm able to play them again with family and friends and make a whole new boatload of memories. So I'm very grateful to Arcade One Up for providing these products that have brought me so much joy. But with that being said, I started kind of thinking to myself the other day, if Arcade One Up didn't show up in 2018, what real arcade machines and what pinball machines would I have actually had in this Man Cave Arcade? Because that was the route I was originally going to go before Arcade 1UP existed. So that's what this hypothetical video is about. If Arcade 1UP never showed up, what would I actually have in this Man Cave Arcade? I'm going to let you guys know right after this. So welcome back to the channel. As always, appreciate you guys coming into the Man Cave Arcade, hanging out with me for a little while. If you're new to the channel and you guys enjoy the content that you see today, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. If you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. So we're going to get to the topic at hand today, and that is, hypothetically, if Arcade 1UP didn't exist, what real arcade machines and real pinball tables would I have in this Man Cave Arcade? Now, in order for me to really kind of get an idea of what I would have down here, I actually had to go to a time in my life where Arcade 1UP didn't exist. In 2014, I was already kind of looking at some of the machines that I was interested in bringing into this Man Cave Arcade when I had the finances to make it happen. So... In going back and thinking about some of the machines that I wanted, I was really able to have a pretty good idea of what I would have down here. And then there's also been some cabinets that I've played at certain barcades over the last couple of years that I really enjoyed and basically told myself if Arcade 1UP ever came out with a version of them, I would have had them in this Man Cave Arcade. But if Arcade 1UP didn't exist, I'd be saying the same thing but it would be the real deal. So that's how I came up with my list today. I went off of what I was looking for in 2014 and what I've kind of gained interest in over the last couple of years with Arcade 1UP being in existence in this hypothetical, they're not around. So I know I would get the real thing if I was interested enough. So we're going to start the list right now. Let's start with the first cabinet. So the first cabinet that I know for a fact I would have in this Man Cave Arcade, if Arcade 1UP didn't exist, would be the class of 1981, that half Miss Pac-Man, half Galaga cabinet. And the reason I know this to be a fact is because I was already looking in to bring in this cabinet before Arcade 1UP showed up in 2018. So I'm pretty sure this would be the first cabinet I would have in this Man Cave Arcade. And the reason I wanted this cabinet so badly is because it has three of my all-time favorite arcade games on the one cabinet. You have Miss Pac-Man, you have Galaga, and you have Pac-Man as a secret game. You just got to know the code to access the game. Also, this cabinet has my favorite artwork on one side, and that's the Miss Pac-Man artwork. I love that artwork, so that would be the side I would probably show off the most. Though, I also like the Galaga artwork, and I like the fact that the artwork kind of meets in the middle. It's a beautiful looking cabinet, in my opinion. I know that half and half artwork is not everyone's cup of tea, but I think it actually looks quite nice. I also like the fact that the cabinet has fast mode of playing 
each of the games. Fast Fire Galaga is my favorite way of playing Galaga, so I feel like that's a nice addition as well. So that's why this cabinet would be the first cabinet I would get for this Man Cave Arcade. So the second cabinet I would try to get for this space would be Frogger. Now this would be a hard one to come by. For whatever reason, even though it's a very popular title, I don't see this cabinet show up very often. But one time I did see it show up on Facebook Marketplace, it was one that needed some work. So obviously I would have snagged that one and that would have been the one that I would have tried to kind of bring back to life. I would have to find somebody to kind of help me work on it, but I would get it going and it would be a great cabinet to have in the space. Not only do I love the game, I love the way the cabinet looks. That 80s wood grain is so iconic. The blue marquee, the tire marks going up, the bezel. Uh, it's just a cabinet that I would love having in the space. I mean, it's so iconic to the point where they even made an episode about it on Seinfeld, right? George Costanza trying to save his high score. We all know how this ended if you watch the episode. It did not end well. But the point is, it is an iconic cabinet. And it would be one that I would be very happy to have in the space. So the third cabinet I would try to get into the space is Donkey Kong. And this one's pretty self-explanatory. Who wouldn't want that classic Nintendo staple in their collection. Now I also like Donkey Kong Jr. and Donkey Kong 3. So if I came by those ones I wouldn't be mad. I would probably get one of those as well. But Donkey Kong is the one I would want the most and it's the game that I've played the most out of those three. So that would be what I would try to strive to find. I feel like I would probably have to look out of town to find it. I do see a lot of reproductions of that cabinet so I might even have to go that route. But either way to have that iconic Nintendo shaped cabinet with that game that first introduced the world to Donkey Kong and Mario, even though Mario at the time was called Jumpman, uh, that's just a staple that I would love to have in my Man Cave Arcade. So I would go the extra mile to try to find this one. And I think I could probably find it in either Toronto or Ottawa. That's where I've usually seen them come up. Uh, so that would be one that I would definitely get for the space. So the next cabinet I would get for the space is Centipede. But here's the catch. I would want the Centipede cabinet because I think it's one of the most beautiful cabinets of all time. I love that artwork, love the shape of the cabinet. But I would want it to have the PCB that has Centipede, Millipede, and Missile Command. Atari made a cabinet that was half Centipede, half Missile Command. But I wasn't a fan of the mixture of artwork and the marquee that they used. So I would want the centipede cabinet just with that PCB, but it would have to have the special control deck to play all three games. But this would be a must have for this man cave arcade. I really enjoy playing centipede and millipede, and I also enjoy missile command as well, but it would be more for centipede and millipede. Those are two of my favorite Atari games to play. So I would definitely want to have that in this man cave arcade. I would have to look for it. It would be a hard thing to find, but I'm pretty sure I could find it at some point. So the next cabinet I would try to get for this Man Cave Arcade is probably going to be one of my easiest ones to get. And that is Golden Tea. Now I love this bar classic. It's so fun to play with my family and friends. The thing I like about Golden Tea is you can be playing it, but then at the same time you could be watching the game, having a drink. It's a very laid back game, but a game that you still get invested in. This would probably be one of the cabinets where I kind of see what I could find. Uh, obviously because it is still in production, you can get the newest version today. But I know that would be fairly expensive. So I'd probably try to find a used one on Facebook Marketplace. And probably one from the early 2000s, mid 2000s. Uh, that would probably suit my fancy. But Golden Tea is a must have for this Man Cave Arcade. So that would be one I would definitely strive to get. And again, probably be pretty easy to get down here. So the next cabinet I would look to get into the space is also a bar classic. And that is Big Buck Hunter. I'd probably go with Big Buck Hunter Reloaded. Just because not only is it a newer version, it's one that I see available in my town on Facebook Marketplace every now and then. It's just one that right now, it seems to be quite up there in price. So I would probably wait to see if the price went down and then I would pick it up. Now, I really enjoy this game. I am not a hunter, though I have thought about getting my hunting license. I did live in the country for a little while. So it was something that people around me had. Uh, but I never ended up going through with it, but I do enjoy playing hunting games. It is one where, you know, because you do have the gun, you really do get into the game. 
And uh, I really enjoy that aspect of the game. Uh, I also like the fact that within the game, you have bonus games that kind of uh, just really break the game apart. You know, you, you hunt for a little while, then you do a bonus game. You hunt for a little while, then you do a bonus game. So for that reason, I feel like the replayability is very high with this cabinet. So this would be one I would want in my Man Cave Arcade if Arcade 1-Up didn't exist. Now, one style of cabinet that would be very important for me to have in this Man Cave Arcade in order to make my collection feel complete is a driving cabinet. Now, this was the hardest to really decide hypothetically what I would actually have in this space. Even though I'm going hypothetical, I wanted to put a little bit of realism as far as what I feel I could find in this area. But for this one, I did have to kind of stretch out of that a little bit uh, because I've seen some drivers kind of come up around this area and they're not really any drivers that I'm into. And also they're the typical driver, which, you know, has the cabinet, but then it's attached with the seat and those take up a lot of room. Now for this hypothetical video, if I could have exactly what I was looking for, it would be Daytona USA but it would be in the stand-up version. That would be what I actually would want in this Man Cave Arcade if I were to kind of pursue a certain cabinet and what I would feel would work best with my space. But again, if I were to kind of go realistically, this would be very hard to find in my area. I would definitely have to probably look in some of the bigger cities. And even then, to find a stand-up Daytona is pretty rare. So I don't really know exactly what realistically I would get down here because I know how important it is for me to have a driver. So I probably would originally get whatever I could get my hands on, but that would kind of be something that would probably be in a little bit of a limbo position to where if I would actually find Daytona and find that stand-up version that I know is rare, but that would be my preferred version of the cabinet, that would be the one I would get for this Man Cave Arcade. Now the last thing I would want in this Man Cave Arcade, if Arcade 1-Up didn't exist, and I was going the real arcade machine route, but also the real pinball route, I would have one pinball machine. Because at the end of the day, I'm realistic, that's probably all I could afford. So I would wanna make sure that I would get the best pinball table for me personally. One that I know I would enjoy playing, but also one of the games that I really enjoy the most. Now, this is something where I know it would be the last thing I would look for as far as bringing into this Man Cave Arcade because again, it's the most expensive. So that's why in this hypothetical world of Arcade 1UP not existing, I know I would take my time to figure out what pinball table would be best for me. And that's why I'm okay with saying that it would be Attack from Mars, which is a pinball table that I came by a little later on in life. But... In this hypothetical world with Arcade 1-Up not existing, uh, I do know that that would be the table I would want. Uh, when would I come across it? That's a good question. I have gone to quite a few barcades, and I've been lucky enough to come by it once or twice. So I'm hoping that would be enough in this hypothetical world to kind of make me understand how great of a table that would be to have in my space. An Attack from Mars is one of those games where I've just really enjoyed playing. And lucky for me, there is somebody here in my town that is selling pinball tables, and Attack from Mars is one of them. So I would obviously get it through him. So that would be the table I would strive to have in this Man Cave Arcade if I was going the real arcade machine and real pinball route. And because that would be the last thing to get to kind of complete the collection in this Man Cave Arcade, I know it would give me enough time to really think this through, obviously save enough money, and again, because of the fact that it is something I can buy in my town, I'm pretty much 90% sure that that would be the one I would go for. The only reason I leave that 10% is because I know sometimes some of the licenses kind of get you to pick certain tables uh, because you're going to pick you know, a license that you know and the characters that you know, so that's why I leave that 10% room, but... I think 90% is pretty high in, in knowing that this would be the table I would probably go for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this hypothetical video of what real arcade machines and what real pinball table I would have in this space if Arcade 1UP didn't exist. 
I really tried to put some realism in my decisions. I tried to go back to my mindset of what I was thinking about bringing in to this space when Arcade 1UP wasn't around. So that really helped me with a lot of my cabinet decisions. And then when it came to the pinball table, again, that would be the last thing I would bring into the space because they are so expensive. And I truly feel like Attack from Mars would be the one that would stick out to me the most as far as investing money and really bringing into the space to really bring me a lot of joy. So those seven cabinets, that one pinball table, I feel is what I would actually have in the space if Arcade 1UP didn't exist. But in this world that we're living in, Arcade 1UP does exist. And I've been able to get a lot of these games and that one pinball table. But maybe there will be a time where I'll want something real. And this will kind of be my blueprint of what I'm looking to bring in. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a fantastic day.